Hey, four viewers already. Wow. Really? Interesting. Hey, guys. Uh, just doing a bit of prep work. Ah, it is live. Awesome. Uh, live now. TV slash askmp. So how are we all doing? Good? Bad? Are we all full of this sunshine? Hmm. Ow. Actually, that wasn't that bad. So when I put that down, I'm going to be hopefully not doing it too loud for you guys on the stream. So stream video... Double check on this. You uh, drop that down just a little bit. Cord attached. Not good. Um, mute. Make sure this is fine. Pre-roll ad. I'll be getting started, getting started real soon, guys um, and girls. So long as I don't kill myself with the damn cord. Come on, hurry up! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Apparently, planes are still flying today. Awesome. Cool. Quality's there. Happy with that. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Awesome. Uh, close, close, close. So, Twitter is up. Uh, I am paying attention, and um, if people end up sending tweets, I will do my best to respond in kind. I also have the chat window up on justin.tv, so some out of view, so I'll be like that. Uh, if you do have any questions, comments, berating, trying to distract me, good luck. Uh, but until then, uh, this is going to be the FICC Toronto 2013 Toronto Room, like the Room Toronto 3 uh, for the whole day. And then depending upon what time this ends up uh, finishing for this day, I'm probably going to see if I can do some, uh, either some joke, some stu joke stuff, um, joke announcements and uh, fun things, as well as doing some uh, just random announcements like the join the online conversation or uh, make sure you are also a member of the Google Plus event uh, just for them to have in between shows or during whatever. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll see how this goes and uh, hopefully uh, it doesn't go as badly as last time or as bad as last time or Maybe it, maybe it should be as bad as last time with the, how many times I had to redo some of the stuff. So, that being said, let's get into this. Uh, first and foremost is Stacy Mul Mulkihi. Uh, even though that's an interesting spelling of Mulkihi, it's Mulkihi. So, new. 01-1. Uh, B1. Stacy. Mo oh, right. This helps. Mo Kihi. Ki K K uh Mo K yeah, M U L C A H Y. This is gonna be a fun one. Uh <laughs> Mul I pronunciation Mul Kihi. So Let's see. Uh, is the audio level stopping running? Interesting. I don't see it going up too, too high, but we will see in a moment, I guess. Um, for those of you that are on the stream, all three, apparently, of you, two if you don't include my chat, I guess, uh, give me some form of response. Can you actually hear me at all? Can you, uh, even if it's a DM, I think I followed up. Uh, anybody who's on this should, I should be following, um, either through Twitter or whatever. Give me a DM. Audio fine.
Jeremy? Shanta? I'm assuming it's going to be you two that are on there. Anyway, I'm going to assume it is. Uh, I don't see too much on the the little bar, but we'll see in a minute for uh, for here. Uh, actually, we could also do check here. Speakers and... Oh, that would likely be why. Recording microphone Yeti. This is the one. Hey, is this better? This is probably better. Yeah, that's better. Uh, okay, that. And make sure audio hardware. Yeti is the input. Yep. Yep. Awesome sauce. Okay. And now, FITC is proud to introduce you to our first presenter. She is a senior developer at Big Spaceship. Big Spaceship. Big Spaceship. And now... <laughs> And now, FITC is proud to introduce our first presenter. She is a senior developer at Big Space. It's going to be one of those days. And now, FITC is proud to introduce. And now, FITC is proud to introduce you to our. And now, FITC is proud to introduce you. <laughs> introduce you to. <sighs> And now, FITC is proud to introduce you our first presenter. She is the senior developer at Big Spaceship and is known to consider her a la her, her lack of filter extremely candor. <sighs> right now, I need a lack of candor or a lack of vocal. I mean, a, lo a local verbal. <sighs> and now, FITC is proud to introduce you our first presenter. She is the senior developer at Big Spaceship and is known to consider her lack of verbal filter and extreme candor to be just a small part of her wondering charm. Womanly charm. Wondering. Wondering womanly. Same thing, right? And now, FITC is proud to introduce you our first presenter. She is a senior developer at Big Spaceship and is known to consider her lack of verbal filter and, ex and extreme candor. And now, FITC is proud. And now, FITC is proud to introduce you to our new, our new first presenter. <sighs> Happy Jesus Death Day. <sighs> we all eating chocolate. And now, FITC is proud to introduce you. The the. And now, FITC. Really, Wind? You can't pick a better time to do the blowing in and non the microphone? Because I'm seeing you in the visuals. Me? And now, FITC is proud to introduce you to our first presenter. She is a senior developer at Big Spaceship and is known to consider her lack of verbal filter and extreme candor to be a small part of her womanly charms. Please welcome Stacy Mul... <laughs> Had it. Had it. Mulkihi. Stacy Mulkihi. <sighs> and now, FITC is proud to introduce you our first presenter. She is a senior developer at Big Spaceship and is known to consider her lack of verbal filter and extreme candor to be a small part of her womanly charms. Please welcome Stacy Mulkihi. Awesome. Let's take a look. I should have probably tested this beforehand, but it's all good. It's how we roll. It's how we make sure that we are a professional person doing this. <laughs> oh, even I couldn't keep a smile out of that one. And now, FITC is proud to introduce you our first presenter. She is a senior developer at Big Spaceship and is known to consider her lack of verbal filter and extreme candor to be a small part of her womanly charms. Please welcome Stacy Mulkihi. And now, cool, I like that one. Save this, and we've got a new folder today. Um, Dropbox to FITC Toronto. I did a bit of cleaning on this as well. So rooms, Toronto 3, uh, Sunday. And just right in here. 
Perfect. On to the next one. Hello, everyone. Before we get started, just a reminder that if you'd like to join the online conversation, follow FITC at Twitter and... Hmm. I wonder if I should include that. Um, so, O2-01V1. And... There we go. Okay. Uh, and this one's going to be... Oh, I didn't do the name. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll do it uh, when I save. Um, Haas Guilford. Haas Guilford. Guilford. Haas. Up next on stage is a longtime friend of FITC. He's worked on a lifeguard. He's worked as a lifeguard in Pennsylvania, a bartender in Edinburgh. Edinburgh? Is that how you pronounce that? Edinburgh? That's always a weird name. Edinburgh. And owned a BMX shop in an undisclosed location. And la mm, I'm going to remove that and primarily because there's another and afterwards. Um, up next is a longtime friend of FITC. He's worked as a lifeguard in Pennsylvania, a bartender in Edinburgh, owned a BMX shop in an undisclosed location, and last year moved from Glasgow to Toronto, working at his dream job as VP and Director of Technology for One Method. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Haas Gifford. <laughs> uh, up next on stage is a longtime friend of FITC. He's worked as a lifeguard in Pennsylvania, a bartender in Edinburgh, owned a BMX shop at an undisclosed location, and is. <sighs> up next on stage is a longtime friend. Up next on stage. Up next on stage. Up next on stage. Up next on stage. Up next on stage is a longtime friend of FITC. He's worked as a lifeguard in Pennsylvania, a bartender in Edinburgh. Edinburgh? Edinburgh, not Edinburgh. Up next on stage is a longtime friend of FITC. He's worked as a lifeguard in Pennsylvania, a bartender in Edinburgh, owned a BMX shop in an undisclosed location. And last year, he moved from Glasgow to Toronto, working at his dream job as VP of Director of Technology for One Method. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Haas Guilford. That wasn't bad. Uh, that wasn't bad. Let's take a look. Let's take a Ganda. Shift P, Control A, Control Shift P. Up next on stage is a longtime friend of FITC. He's worked as a lifeguard in Pennsylvania, a bartender in Edinburgh, owned a BMX shop in an undisclosed location, and last year he moved from Glasgow to Toronto, working at his dream job as VP of Director of Technology for One Method. That's sitting up straight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Haas Guilford. Cool. Um, Haas Guilford. Gifford. Oh, you're kidding me. It's Gifford, not Guilford. Ah. Oh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Gifford, Gifford, <sighs> Gilford, Gifford, Gifford. Up next on stage is a longtime friend of FITC. He's worked as a lifeguard in Pennsylvania, a bartender in Edinburgh, owned a BMX shop at an, unloca at an unlocation discouraged. Up next on stage is a longtime friend of FITC. He's worked as a lifeguard in Pennsylvania, a bartender in Edinburgh, owned a BMX shop in an undisclosed location, and last year moved from Glasgow to Toronto, working at his dream job of VP of Director of Technology. VP of Director of... Uh. Up next on stage is a longtime friend of FITC. He's worked as a lifeguard in Pennsylvania, a bartender in Edinburgh owned a BMX shop at an unloca und unlocation discouraged. Up next on stage. Up next on stage is a longtime friend of FITC. He's worked as a lifeguard in Pennsylvania, a bartender in Edinburgh. It starts. Up next on stage is a longtime friend of FITC. He's worked as a lifeguard in Pennsylvania, a bartender in Edinburgh, 
owned a BMX shop at an undisclosed. <sighs> sigh. Or as the French like to say, le sigh. Up next on stage is a longtime friend of FITC. He's worked as a lifeguard in Pennsylvania, a bartender in Edinburgh, owned a BMX shop at an undisclosed location, and last year moved from Glasgow to Toronto, working at his dream job as VP and Director of Technology for One Method. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Haas Gifford. Cool. I was so scared halfway through that. I'm like, oh my God, I say Gilford or Gifford. Gilford or Gifford. Uh, that was close. And shift P, control A, control shift B, enter. Up next on stage is a longtime friend of FITC. He's worked as a lifeguard in Pennsylvania, a bartender in Edinburgh, owned a BMX shop at an undisclosed location, and last year moved from Glasgow to Toronto, working at his dream job as VP and Director of Technology for One Method. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Haas Gifford. Cool. No, I'm happy with that. And this one is Haas Gifford. Gifford. Dot wave. Save. Awesomeness. Uh, then we have another one from Stacy Mulkihi. She is. <laughs> and admittedly, probably one of the best titles I've seen. Please tell me it says it in the actual name. Oh, it doesn't say it in the actual name. It should. It really, really should. Um, <laughs> the name of this talk on Sunday is Herding Cats 101. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Stacy, if you ever hear this, I congratulate you on your name. That puts my So I Heard You Like Divs uh, title completely to shame. That is outstanding. <laughs> o three dash o one dash uh sorry v one awesome sauce welcome back everyone up next is mo welcome back everyone up next is stacy Malkihi, a senior developer with big spaceship dip How many people here hate that? It helps with the thing of the top of the mouth. Welcome back, everyone. Up next is Stacy Malkihi, senior developer with Big Spaceship, on stage for the second time today, and here to talk to us about everyone's favorite elephant in the room, process. Please join us in welcoming Stacy. Gap, ah, so close. Welcome back, everyone. Okay. Screw it. My voice is going there. Welcome back, everyone. Up next is Stacy Mulkihi, senior developer with Big Spaceship, on stage for the second time today to discuss... Hmm, can't even get that one right. Good job. Welcome back, everyone. Up next is Stacy Mulkihi, senior developer with Big Spaceship, on stage for the second time today, and here to talk to us about... <coughs> okay. <coughs> Dry mouth. Welcome back, everyone. Up. Oh, I'm getting wind. And now the wind is gone. Welcome back, everyone. Up now. See, without this on, it's so weird. Because I've been doing it the whole time. Welcome back, everyone. Up next is Stacy Mulkihi, senior developer with Big Spaceship. On stage for the second time today, and here to talk to us about everyone's favorite big elephant room. Welcome back, everyone. Up next is Stacy Malkihi, senior developer with Big Spaceship, on stage for the second time today, and here to talk to us about everyone's favorite elephant in the room, process. That was a just a weird pronunciation. Welcome back, everyone. Up next is Stacy Malkihi, senior developer with Big Spaceship, on stage for the second time today, 
and here to talk to us about everyone's favorite elephant in the room. Yes, precious. Yes. I don't you really. It's just so hard to say the sentence. Probably because the punctuation on it needs to be revised on stage for this because it's like introducing and then full stop. It yeah should should be comma on st and on stage for the second time. Welcome back, everyone. Up next is Stacy Mulkihi, senior developer for Big Spaceship, on stage for the second time today, and here to talk to us about everyone's favorite elephant in the room, process. Please join us in welcoming Stacy back onto the stage. Yeah, good, bad, yes, no. I'll tell you what, raise your hand if you don't like it. Can't see you, sorry. Ah, Stacy. Um, Mulkihi. Getting started, blah, blah, blah. Did I see Meth Lab? Oh, the last talk that we did uh, with um, Haas Gifford. The title of his talk is Lessons Learned or Lessons from the Meth Lab. Most likely because the company he works for is called One Method. Did I spell that name right again? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. Awesome sauce. Um, control S. Um, next talk is mass ex ma make something ugly. An experimental creative process from Myron Campbell. I knew somebody named Campbell. I was um, back at FITC, uh, back at Yellow Pages Group, um, Stephen Campbell. And it was always a weird name to pronounce because it's C A M P B E L L, so Campbell. But there's no p Campbell, Campbell. Um, it's a weird name. Good guy though. Awesome sauce. Uh, two, 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 two. Oh four, I think we're on. Yes, it is. Oh four, oh one, V one. Oh no, I uh, gotta add. Oh sugar. There we go. Uh, Myron Campbell Sav. Awesome. Uh, join the conversation. That's the social one, which we're going to do afterwards. There are a couple probably revised versions of it, so there's different variations. And I just pushed record without actually thinking about it. And I'm getting a phone call from somebody. Hold on one second. Thank you for calling S Mark. Remember, shop smart, shop S Mark. Matthew speaking. How may I direct your call? Yes, it works every time. What's up? Father. Hey, how's it going? Hmm, not bad. Technically, I'm broadcasting live on the internet right now, so you're online. Yep. <laughs> uh, trust me, it's not that type of thing. Anyway, is there something I can help you with? Or is it just you wanted to touch base? Happy birth, happy death of Jesus to you too. Are you having chocolate and enjoying your day because of such? Why not? All right, diabetes. So the death of Jesus has caused you diabetes. <laughs> I know. I'm good. I'm grand. I'm just doing some recording of FITC Toronto. Nothing, don't ask. Nope, nothing. Can I give you a call back later? Oh. Yep. I did, but it's still within my... I've flagged a bunch of emails that I need to go through. Well, you mean birthdays in two months? Yes. Yes. May is going to be a busy month, but I definitely want to take time to uh, to see if I can head out to uh, to Brighton. Well, maybe even in April. Yep. Yep. 
Yep, cool. I'll talk to you later. Yep. Yep. Cool. Awesome. Yep. Sure. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I will. <sighs> Le Psy, as the French say. Awesome. Sorry about that. Um, so, here we go. Wait, why are they doing the garbage today? It's like holiday. Can you hear that? Probably not. I can. Okay. Our next speaker is currently a full-time instructor at the Vancouver Film School and is recently MAA graduate recent and is also a What's an MAA? And why are you spelling an acronym out like that? It should be uh Alfred MAA. Do you pronounce that ma graduate? MAA graduate or what is an MAA? Graduate. I should know these. Really should. Um, media Arts. Oh, Media Master. Oh, really? Huh. Master of Applied Arts. So I'm going to change that in the documentation here. Master of Applied Arts. I swear, I almost said macaroni and applied arts, but graphic design diploma. So, I'm, yeah, I get you. Cool. Uh, record. Our next speaker is currently a full-time instructor at Vancouver Film School and is also a recent... Our next presenter is currently a full-time instructor at Vancouver. Hmm. Our next presenter is currently a full-time instructor at the Vancouver Film School and is currently. Hmm. Our next speaker is currently a full-time instructor at the Vancouver Film School and is also recently a master of a. And also. A recent. Our next speaker is a current. F our. Our next speaker is a current. Is a current. He's an electrical current. Our next speaker is a current. I did it again. <gasps> our next speaker is currently a full-time instructor at the Vancouver. F our next speaker is a current. <laughs> <laughs> Our next speaker is currently a full-time instructor at the Vancouver Film School and also a recent Master of Applied Arts graduate in the field of media arts at Emily Carr University of Art and Design. He spends a lot of time maintaining a steady art practice and producing interactive projects and animated short films. Please welcome to the stage, Myron Campbell. How did I do the rest of that one? Because that was like... Bah! Deleted. Let us take a look. Our next speaker is currently a full-time instructor at the Vancouver Film School and also a recent Master of Applied Arts graduate in the field of media arts at Emily Carr University of Art and Design. He spends a lot mm. of time maintaining a steady art practice. I don't think I like that one. <sighs> Our next speaker is currently a full-time instructor at the Vancouver Films. Our next speaker is currently a full-time instructor at the Vancouver Film School and is also a recent Master of Applied Arts graduate in the field of media arts from Emily Carr University of Art and Design. He spends a lot of his time maintaining a steady art practice by producing interactive projects and animated short films. Please welcome to the stage Myron Campbell. Ooh, I don't know how I felt about that last little bit. And shift P, control A, control shift P. Our next speaker is currently a full-time instructor at the Vancouver Film School 
and is also a recent Master of Applied Arts graduate in the field of Media Arts from Emily Carr University of Art and Design. He spends a lot of his time maintaining a steady art practice by producing interactive projects and animated short films. Please welcome to the stage Myron Campbell. Hmm. I'll stick with that one. Myron Campbell. Myron Campbell. Uh, Greg Beldum. Beldum. Greg Beldum. O one v one. Greg Beldum. Beldam. Beldam. Beldum. Beldum. How would you pronounce it? Beldum. Beldum. Good morning, and welcome to Day 2 of FITC Toronto 2013. We have another fascinating day of presentations coming your way. Also, please don't forget to hand in those feedback forms on your seats so you're eligible for some great prizes. Today's first presenter is a lead mobile designer at Shopify. He's the team... Today's first presenter is the lead mobile designer at Shopify. He and his team are responsible for crafting the future of apps. <laughs> Today's first presenter is the lead developer. Today's t there, just so that I'm getting that out of the way. <sighs> Today's first presenter is the lead mobile designer at Shopify. He and his team are responsible for crafting the future of apps and disrupting, disrupting, disrupting. Today's first presenter is the lead mobile. Today's first presenter is the lead mobile designer at Shopify. He and his team are responsible for crafting the future of apps and disrupting e-commerce. And today he's here to be again punctuation, Alfred. Ah, oh, punctuation. <sighs> Today's first presenter is the lead mobile designer at Shopify. He and his team are responsible for crafting the future of apps and disrupting e-commerce. Today, he's here to show you a glimpse of the future of mobile. Please welcome Greg Beldum. Today's first... And yes, I did kind of modify that there on the fly because of punctuation missing. Today's first presenter is the lead mobile designer at Shopify. He and his team are responsible for crafting the future of apps and disrupting e-commerce. Today, he's here to show you a glimpse of the future of mobile. Please welcome Greg Beldum. Today's first presenter, Shav. Oh, and I need to change folders. To Monday, Monday, Monday. Nope, oh, up one. Monday, save. Punctuation, indeed. <laughs> yeah, it's happened a few times. Um, yeah, I should tweet to Alfred just to say to him, listen, commas are your friend. Penny Arcade had a really good comic about that, by the way. Uh, I'm not going to go look up the link for that, but if you can, that'd be awesome. All right, go look at it. Uh, this one is going to be 06-01v1. Uh, yes, save. Oh, actually, what is the name of this one? This one's going to be Lenny Geffen. Lenny, Lanny Geffen. Is this a second Geffen? Oh, Gil no, that was Gil Gifford. Gifford and Geffen. Wow, cool. Awesome, so Lanny... Geffen. Geffen. Um, let me guess. You're gonna go off now, aren't you? You're 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 an audio thing. You're gonna go off. Okay. Our next presenter has over ten years' experience in online marketing, advertising, and design. Wow, I completely got distracted by nothingness on that. Our next presenter has over 10 years of experience in online marketing, advertising, and design. Mm, advertising and design. 
Our next presenter has over 10 years of experience in online marketing, advertising, and design. He has a lot of experience working with brands and has received many accolades for his work with some of the most recognizable brands in the market. Here to remind you that it's not enough to... <sighs> it's not enough to be brilliant. Please welcome Lenny Geffen. Our next presenter has over 10 years of experience in the online marketing. Albert, in the online marketing. Because that's a thing. Online marketing. Actually, it is. Hmm. In online marketing. Our next presenter has over 10 years experience in online marketing, advertising, and design. He has a lot of experience working with brands and has... Uh, and has uh, <laughs> Do you know what helps? Um, what's it called? Oh, yeah. Breathing. <clears throat> Our next presenter has over 10 years of experience in online marketing, advertising, and design. He has a lot of experience working with brands and has received many accolades for his work with some of the most recognizable brands in the market. Here to remind you that it's not just enough to be... Br it's not just enough. I gotta get the name. If the name of the damn thing is in there, then I need to uh, make sure that it's done right. Especially considering... Uh, it's not enough to be brilliant, you have to be convincing too, is the full title. But I don't say the full one. Our next presenter has over 10 years of experience in online marketing, advertising, and design. He has a lot of experience work... Do you know who that was? That was Jeremy. That was the email that I received from Jeremy because of the tweet he made. <sighs> Hello, everyone. Nope. Wrong paragraph. Our next presenter has over 10 years of experience in online marketing, advertising, and design. He has a lot of experience when working with brands and has received many accolades for his work with some of the most recognizable in the market. Here to remind you that it's not enough to be brilliant, please welcome Lanny Geffen. Hmm. Actually, I might want to thank you on that one. Um, with that little tiny break, I was able to pump it out the next one. <laughs> shift P, Control A, Control Shift P, Enter! And listen. Our next presenter has over 10 years of experience in online marketing, mm. advertising, and design. And I changed one word. He has a lot of experience when working with brands and has received many accolades for his work with some of the most recognizable in the market. Yeah, I remember Here to remind that. you that it's not enough to be brilliant. Please welcome Lanny Geffen. So I removed the second word brands in the same sentence. So originally it's and has received many accolades for his work with... Uh, he has a lot of experience working with brands and has received many accolades for his work with rec with some of those recognizable brands in the market. So it was the same sentence using the same word twice, and I felt it was redundant. So, Alfred, if you are listening to this, I have removed that. Um, blah, 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 blah. Cool. So, Sav. And new. Uh, 08? 07 01 B1. Oh, again. It's supposed to remind me. I gotta put the name down there. Um, Kurt Crum. Kurt. Crum or Crum? I can. What is this one? Adaptive design kicked my ampersand. Oh, sorry. Adaptive design kicked my at sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. Sigh. Good title. Our next presenter is a user experience consultant who spends most of his time. Our next presenter is a user experience consultant who spent most of the last decade creating websites and apps. Here to talk about how adaptive design kicked his ass in the long hours. In the hour long session of geeky revelations. In an hour long session of geeky revelations. Explication, explications and per, purgation. What? Okay, I gotta look some words up. 
um, revelation explication is that how you pronounce that mm. no explication pronunciation um, explication no not punctuation or pronunciation explication oh pronunciation how to how j say submit explicate no explication is that it explication awesome it doesn't actually say it um explication and purgation Anybody have heard of that one? Purgation. Purgation. Purgation, as in like purgatory, maybe? I don't know. That's a new word for me. I got learned. Okay. Our next presenter is a user experience consultant who spent most of the last decade creating websites and apps. Here today to talk about how adaptive design kicked his ass in the long hours, in a long, in an hour long. Our next presenter. Our next presenter is a user experience consultant who spent the last decade creating websites and apps. Here today about how. <laughs> Our next presenter is a user experience consultant who spent most of the last decade creating websites and apps. Here today to. There's no today. There's absolutely no today to t in that sentence. Our next presenter is a user experience consultant who spent most of the last decade creating websites and apps. Here to talk about how adaptive design kicked his ass in an hour-long session of geeky revelation, explication, and purgation, please welcome Kurt Crum. Okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't that bad. I'm kind of wanting to do a fun one of that one. Um, don't know. Ex explication? No. Shift P, Control A, Control Shift P, Enter. Our next presenter is a user experience consultant who spent most of the last decade creating websites and apps. Here to talk about how adaptive design kicked his ass in an hour-long session of geeky revelation, explication, and purgation. Please welcome Kurt Crum. Kurt, if you ever see this, and you created that or you wrote that, huh? Good words. Ah, our next presenter. Okay. Apparently, my puffer fish just went nuts on a sh uh, snail. That was weird. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Our next presenter. Hey. Hey, it's Matt. Awesome. Uh, Matt Fisher is doing a presentation for, uh, for FITC Toronto, and it's on Monday, and admittedly, it's probably one of my most look forward to presentations. Um, for anybody who doesn't know uh, who Matt Fisher is, uh, he works for, oh gosh, I'm not going to mess this up. I think it was, no, I'm not going to say who it was. Um, but the talk itself is Forget Music, Downloaded an Assault Rifle. How awesome is that? Seriously. Epic. Go check it out. Uh, he's got, I think, pictures on his blog, and Fast Company just did a, uh, a small article on him. So if you're watching this on YouTube, pause the video, go check it out. Um, it's on Twitter. I think you can get it through Twitter, but you can also go through Fast Company and just search up Matt Fisher. Uh, really, really cool things. Uh, and this is local developer. He's doing some amazing work. Awesome. Anyway, let's see if I can tackle this with one shot. Our next presenter is an it nope, I can't. It was too yeah. <sighs> Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day at Jam Three and drone obsessed by night. Building and creating anything with <sighs> Our next presenter is an interactive and web special interactive web. And by the way, for anybody it's not a burp, it's a growl. <laughs> Without the living at the end. Um 
Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day. By day. Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day at Jam Three and a, jo a, a Joan obsessed. He's Joan obsessed. Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems de systems systems. Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day at Jam Three and drone obsessed by night. By why is that? Drone obsessed by I guess uh, by day and drone obsessed by night at night. See the size and dimensions of that sentence, the second element of that just doesn't. No. Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day at Jam Three, and drone and he is drone obsessed and drone obsessed um, by night. I guess I think this will be one of the ones that's going to be revised for the content at least. Uh, building and creating anything and everything he feels passionately about. Here to tell us why you should forget about downloading music and download. Uh, here to tell us why we should forget music and download an assault rifle instead. Please welcome Matt Fisher. Cool. Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer at by yeah, 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 yeah. Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems systems. Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day at Jam Three. Interactive web and systems developer by day. Uh, interactive web. I'm dropping systems from this because there's the and systems and then there's another and afterwards. Our next presenter is an interactive web developer by day at Jam 3 and drone obsessed by... Our next presenter is an interactive web developer by day at Jam 3 and drone by... Drone by night. He's a drone by night. That is outstanding. <laughs> Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day at Jam. Th Again, I did the systems. Our next presenter is an interactive web developer by day at Jam Three and a drone obs and and a drone obsessed by night. Our next presenter is an interactive web. And Our next presenter is an interactive web developer by day at Jam Three and a, dra a dram. Matt, you're a dram. Or at least dram obsessed. Only at night, though. Our next presenter is an interactive web developer by day at Jam 3 and drone obsessed by night. Building and creating anything and everything he feels passionately about. Here to develop... There's nothing... There's no... What? Our next presenter is an interactive web and developer by Our next presenter is an interactive developer by day. Our next presenter is an interactive web developer by day at Jam 3 and a drone obsessed by night and a drone obsessed. Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day at Jam 3 and is drone obsessed and is I could do the is which would mean I could keep the yeah. Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day at Jam 3. Yeah, it was right. Jam 3. Ah! Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day at Jam 3, as well as a drone as well as being drone obsessed at night. Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day at Jam 3 and is drone obsessed by night. Building and create and <laughs> Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day at Jam 3 and drone obsessed by an... Uh, and for anybody who actually does notice, I know I can record elements of this and then combine them together to form one solid one. Um, but two things. First, there's a lot of effort and timing with that and making sure that the audio is exactly the same and... Um, the environment is exactly the same. Uh, and B, I'm lazy and that's no fun. Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day at Jam 3. 
by day at Jan. God, that doesn't sound right. Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day at Jam Three, and a drone obsessed. And a drone obsessed. <sighs> Our next presenter is an interactive and web systems developer by day at Jam Three, as well as drone obsessed by night, and creating. Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day at Jam Three, and is drone obsessed by night building and creating anything and everything he feels passionately about here to tell us why we should be forgetting the got it and it was there and it was just gone um, okay our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day at jam 3 and drone obsessed at night building and creating anything and everything he feels passionately about here to tell us why we should forget about downloading music and instead download an assault rifle Please welcome Matt Fisher. Wow, I completely changed that last sentence around, but I did it. <laughs> Deleted and selected. Shift P, Control A, Control Shift P, Enter. Our next presenter is an interactive web and systems developer by day at Jam 3 and drone obsessed at night, building and creating anything and everything he feels passionately about. Here to tell us why we should forget about downloading music and instead download an assault rifle, please welcome Matt Fisher. Our next. Yep, cool. Ah, uh, Lexi's Matt Fisher. Dot with. Uh, why is there a period there? There should not be a period there. Full stop. I mean, full stop. I always hate that word. Um, Sav. Tools of the Processing Trade from David Bucard. So this one is 909-01v1. Oh, I keep, yeah, god damn it. David Bucard. Bouchard, Bucard, it's gotta be Bucard. I'm gonna put that there. Bucard, yeah. Sav. Omnivorous new media artist. Hmm, interesting. That's going to be an interesting one. Our next presenter is an omnivorous new media artist, technologist, and educator whose work explores the expressive potential of computation, both in software and hardware forms. Here today to teach us how valuable tools of the processing trade are. <sighs> so close. Our next presenter is an omnivorous new media artist technologist, and educator, whose work explores the expressive potential of computation, both in software and hardware forms. Here today to teach us about the valuable tools of the processing trade, please give a warm FITC welcome to David Bucard. Yes? Maybe? Maybe? My voice is going up higher? Our next presenter is an omnivorous new media artist, technologist, and educator whose work explores the expressive potential of computation, both in software and hardware forms. Here today to teach us about the valuable tools of the processing trade, please give a warm FITC welcome to David Bucard. Our next... I don't mind that. Hopefully I pronounced his name right. I thought, oh, it might be French Bouchard. Could be French Bouchard. We will find it soon. Um, creative coding with 3JS. Cool platform. Cool. Okay, so this is going to be Michael Chang. 10-01v1. Michael Chang. Okay, first time. Michael Chang is a creative technologist at Flux who has worked with Data Arts team. Damn it. Nope. Who has worked with the Data Arts team at Google on visualizations and generative art that you see in Chrome experiments. Michael Chang is a creative technologist at Flux who has worked with the Data team. Michael Chang is a creative artist at Flux who has worked with the Data Arts team at Google 
Michael Chang is a creative technologist at Flux who has worked with the data arts team at Google on visualizations and generative art that used to end the Michael Chang is a creative technologist at Flux who has worked with the data arts team at Google on the visualizations and generative art. Michael Chang is a creative technology at Flux who has worked with the data arts team at Google. Michael Chang is a creative technologist at Flux who has worked with the data Michael Chang is a creative technologist at Flux who has worked with the data arts team at Google on visualizations and generative art that you see on the Chrome experiments. Chrome, Chrome, Chrome experiments. Michael Chang is a creative technologist at Flux who has worked with the D Michael Chang is a creative technologist at Flux who has worked with the data arts team at Google on visualizations and generative art that use and the generative and the the Michael Chang is a creative technologist at Flux who has worked with the data arts team at Google on visualizations and the generative art that you see in Google Chrome experiments here today oh. Michael Chang is a creative technologist at Flux who has worked with the Michael Chang is a creative technologist at Flux who has worked with the data arts team at Google on creating visualizations and the generative art that you see in Chrome experiments. Here to teach you the ins and outs of creative coding with 3JS, please join us in welcoming Michael Chang. Ooh, I don't know about that first part. Shift P, Control A, Control Shift P, Enter. Michael Chang. Ooh. Hmm. Michael Chang is a creative technologist at Flux who has worked with the data arts team at Google on creating visualizations and the generative art that you see in Chrome experiments. Here to teach you the ins and outs of creative coding with 3JS, please join us in welcoming Michael Chang. Okay, so Tuesday, 3.30, Responsive Design Techniques, Tools, and Design Strategies with Paul Trenny. Again, Paul, wow. Uh, this one's going to be 11-01v1. <clears throat> Welcome back, everyone. Paul Trenny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been certified. Did this before. Welcome back, everyone. Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been an Adobe Certified Instructor and Courseware Creator for <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Paul Tranny is an Adobe Worldwide Evangelist and has been an Adobe Certified Instructor for over a decade. We'll discuss several responsive design straight edge reflow. Please welcome Paul Tranny. That wasn't bad. I believe that. Oh! Ooh, still not enough. Too much. There. Should be. Enter. Paul Tranny is an Adobe World and an Adobe certified instructor for over a decade. He has several responsive design of three edge reflow. Welcome, Paul Tranny. Hmm. Sorry, I spelled it like that in the description, but it's. Again! Me. Listen to this. Even if Paul, you. Adobe Audition? It's the file name, or it puts the cursor uh, during the save ad after the period. Somebody. That was annoying. That was technically three uh, for all. However, few ones that create just kind of like a um, to media ones, uh, giving it being all the same. But instead of doing it today, exactly an hour actually, I'm going to hold off. Um, Facebook, Twitter, and then submit your ID for doing variation, should we say? What should we have for them? There's a few you can probably go done in any of the videos, but uh, things like I want to see if there's going to be a Facebook event. We really end up doing a short URL for that. Us, um, um, all these various we should do for that um, of extra stuff, extra little fun. Number two, uh, uh, connect with me, uh, FITC as well, Alfred for that. Actions and ones to do, what they're going to be presenting for that on sometime next. If you do follow this channel though, if you do, you do pay attention to streaming Sunday for HTML Toronto, Toronto.ca or through live, it'll be broadcast Sunday. 
uh, if you have topics coming through um, A or HTML5. Cool. Anyway, uh, without paying attention and listening with it, um, see you next time. Cheers.